Hello and welcome. My name is Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the new releases for Forgeworld and Games Workshop. And what a bombardment it is this weekend. This is uh, Saturday the 9th of February. Uh, Games Workshop are relentless right now and so are Forgeworld uh, it seems. I want to say a huge thank you to all of you subscribers and viewers that watch all the content, specifically the Horus Heresy Weekender, uh, the review and the Sanguinius uh, unboxing. Thank you so much for your support. If you want to show your support further, um, why not become a Patreon and help fund the channel that way. I release a video every single day. I try and buy every single new release uh, to give you an unboxing and, and review as, as close to the release date as possible. And you can support for as little as a dollar a month, which is probably less than a chocolate bar a month now. Um, anyway, what we'll do is we'll go straight onto the uh, news, uh, go on the Warhammer community website. There's been quite a lot uh, of news this week. Um, there was a preview uh, last week which I went through on Thursday. I think I did a I, I did one of these um, news and pre-order videos uh, Thursday last week because I was at the Horus Heresy Weekender for all you guys last weekend. It was my first one. I was very intrigued. Uh, I wanted to take a load of pictures and get some models for subscribers. Um, so that's why I went. It ended up becoming like a full weekend from leaving where I live here in uh, Norfolk to about seven o'clock and getting there about 11.30 um, and then getting home at about seven or eight o'clock on the Sunday that night. So so I got a part, I've got a full-time job as well. And yeah, that's that's a big chunk of time um, to dedicate going to something like that. Um, but if you haven't already, check out my review and the uh, footage that I took. Tried not to forget anything uh, that was part of that weekend. Anyway, moving up um, from where we sort of left off last weekend, there was uh, Buried Dagger, Meet the Cast. Um, that was a new thing. Uh, they go through all of the um, key players in the book. I have the book, I haven't started it yet because I want to finish Titan Death and then I'm on to this one. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. Got it signed by James Swallow, um, great guy, really friendly at the event. There was the Death Battle Tome, uh, Flesh Eater Courts, uh, the Lowdowns, there's a, a really nice article about the Flesh Eater. I probably would get a Flesh Eater army if I had Age of Sigmar. Really, really cool models. Uh, but that's the thing with Age of Sigma. A lot of the models are just fantastic. And uh, as a collector um, and as a guy that buys models that he likes the look of, I'm so spoiled for choice with Age of Sigma. Um, I wouldn't really know where to start in terms of whether they're good or not. There was an article about uh, Eddie's Gene Stealer cults. Uh, this is Eddie the Eagle. Apparently, he's got a Gene Stealer cult army, apparently. So, uh, yeah, he, he showed us all of these. Um, I like the uh, the orc truck. I mean the um, uh, rock grinder there, and he's you know they're kind of like lizards in a way. The the color scheme he's gone for these um, um, lizard kind of heads with the red eyes. Blah, blah. Anyway, um, Forge World. Uh, there were a couple of uh, models up yesterday, up for pre-order, ready for next weekend. So. Within a week, guys, uh, these Space Wolf models that were available at the event, the Death Sworn and um, Vral Red Blade, uh, are now up. So if you went to the event, you're going to be you would have got them two weeks before everybody else. If you want to look at it that way, that, that way, well, a little bit less than two weeks than everyone else. And um, we'll go through them in the pre-order section of this video. And um, there's a Gene Stealer Cult's Our Top Five Bits. Uh, the limited edition codex, um, Clamavus is on there, so probably they're gonna start doing that more just to troll everybody that they don't make enough of these things. Um, they're gonna start putting limited edition products on their models now. Um, I, th I think hubris is, is quite strong, especially with um, uh, Gene Stealer cults now as well. Uh, you know, you've got this limited edition codex, and then you've got the, the Nexus, which is uh, you know a map of Games Workshop HQ. It'd be interesting to see uh, if they start including um, other parts of Nottingham uh, into their model range. <laughs> but there we go. Um, there's a Patriarch Familiar Brood Coven, um, representing the, the version of the Patriarch. Uh, there's the High Collar Magus, really, really big High Collar. Um, and then the Holographic Battle Map, which is, look, as you can see, I've just talked about that. Um, he's got arrows there, 
uh, and an arrow there. So like an arrow there, there's the entrance, and then an arrow there, that's the roof space. Um, I think that's the entrance to Bugman's Bar, if I'm correct. And then you've got two big red things there, which could be Space Marine Rhinos or, or just vehicles in general. I don't know why he's got the arrows there, whether they're places for him to attack, but anyway, I could go on and talk about that map for ages. Then there's a preview for Flesh Eater Courts, uh, nice little article here. Cadaverous Barricade and the Chalice of Ushorn and a Corpse Mare Stampede and a Charnel Throne. They're all difficult for me to pronounce. And then there was a Las Vegas Open 2019 Warhammer preview. There seemed to be quite a few things a preview in. The Blades of Corn, excellent, lovely models. Oh, I've got a, um, I say a corn army, I've got a, a Chaos uh, army for Age of Sigmar and I just love to have these. These look so cool. Um, that model is just amazing in my opinion and these um, phenomena look brilliant I mean that's like something out of doom you know especially with the blood dripping from the uh, sockets then they've given you a look at the Warhammer Underworlds um, with these Thari Guardians or Yathari Guardians fantastic models again I love the kind of knotted vines that they're on like some have legs this guy has got vines or this woman's i can't remember they've all, they've all got long hair haven't they um anyway this sword is just fantastic especially with the stars and this dragonfly type creature and this bug thing and this chimney pot thing or is that his um salt and pepper pot but yeah the the painting on those blades is just incredible I, they must have done them airbrushing for that and then there was a big look at Shadow Spear, which um, straight away people were like, oh, have you seen the Shadow Spear models and things like that? So it's a new battle box for Warhammer 40,000 because we haven't had one for a very, very long time. <laughs> um, two forces of brand new models. So you've got these um, Super Scouts or uh, Primaris um, Scouts uh, along with, um, it says, a Vanguard of Heroes. So they look a little bit different those ones but you've got this guy which is clearly a librarian he's got his fingers on his head but he's he's in camo so he's got a, a nice robe he's got these tubes that are not librarian has and he's got his four sword really awesome looking model ancient foes recast in black and gold so this awesome looking dude some kind of priest new Chaos uh, Space Marines, um, I've got the Chaos Space Marines in the Black Fortress set, you'll see reviews of them soon, so you get a taste of uh, what's to come, and they are looking amazing. This uh, incredible obliterator, these obliterators, I'm not that keen about the muscle that's been bursting out of them in the, in the you know, I would rather have had it more of a mutation, that doesn't, it looks too clean in my opinion, but hey, you know, it's bigger, better, uh, obliterators and what in the emperor's name is this well it's some kind of my fitted blight hauler wannabe um kind of spider crab thing um with a horrible looking face and a long tongue so there's going to be more they're going to be releasing more and more pictures of of these uh models um here you go here's some of them um this guy uh which is uh vanguard so it's a librarian uh that can uh, lead strike forces so you couple him with these eliminators which are dead eye snipers um they've got exotic and deadly ammunition i think these look really cool i love the weapons these bolt sniper rifles some of the best looking weapons that games workshop have produced in my opinion um i like that they're still going with these half um helmets as well that's pretty cool uh, i like that they're pushing that um and then this guy the master of possessions um, very doom looking with the goat skull and the sigils and the markings really looking forward to this guy and then you've got the Chaos Space Marines themselves um, which are fantastic Baroque armour, vicious weapons brilliant looking models and then these obliterators as well so you saw one with the flamer this one looks like it's got some kind of melter weapon and a storm bolt, a plasma cannon I think that is and then a heavy bolter these guys are going to wreck face um, and they look massive um, and then you've got a demon engine which is a venom crawler this is the little spider type uh, thing with this big it looks like a black widow spider in a way because it's got this big hunched um, bulbous body even a tongue as well and some some uh, ballistic weapons here but the main um, deadly piece of it is uh, obviously his face and these um, tendrils and claws and um, 
scythes on the front. Um, I wonder what those weapons actually do, whether it's actually you know, a contender for the Myphitic Blight Hauler. We'll see. So you've got more and more to come. So that was uh, all from the Las Vegas uh, Open Warhammer preview. Um, so a lot to cover on the news uh, this week. Let's jump on over to Forge World, where we will see Havral Redblade. So we go to New. And we look at pre-orders. And you can get uh, Ral Red Blade and the Death Swarm for £85. Let's not forgive that that's six models for almost £100, but let's have a look at Red Blade, Jarl of the Fourth Great Company. Um, decent looking model. I like the axe. Yeah, someone said that he looks like a certain Scottish fella from um, Austin Powers. I <laughs> He, he does a bit and he's got these massive sideburns and the pelt looks good I like the uh, the wolf pelt and he's got this uh, ridiculous heavy bolter um, if we just do that um, he's got this heavy bolter that he's just uh, holding I mean he's in Terminator armor um, I think it's Tartarus pattern not Cataphracty and his, that axe looks insane the, uh, the detail that they painted that axe I like the red cloak really really nice and the runes and the, the uh, teeth, I mean, such attention to detail. And he comes on this ridiculous base too. So it is one head, but they've changed his head there. And yeah, it comes on this scenic base, look. So you just magnetize either side of that. And then uh, it's going to be like um, Titus, is it? Oh, I've forgotten his name. You know, the, the Blood Ravens um, Terminator. It's going to be like him. And then the Space Wolves Legion Death Swarm Pack, £40. These were... Uh, you could buy these at the event last week. Um, look really, really cool. All these uh, Space Wolves models uh, look better uh, than the ones that were released previously, I think, last year. I like these hatchet-type uh, power axes. And then he's got some kind of melter bomb or something. But really, really cool-looking models. I like the look of these. He's just doing a little dance, though. Whereas that's a better pose, maybe. Yeah, these two look good. And that one looks all right. And then finally, we've got something for... Is it Lord of the Rings? Yeah, tasked by Gothmog. Spearheading the Mordor attack through the broken gates of Minas Tirith. There you go. You've got Goroth and Zagdush, the Orc Captains. Look pretty good. £20. Not too bad for two models. Fair bit of detail on them. Yeah, if you're into your Lord of the Rings, go for it. And that's everything for Forge World. I wonder if next week we'll see the Dreadnought Drop Pod or um, the Drill or Sanguinius. <laughs> Who knows? Let's move on over to Games Workshop where there's a fair few pre-orders. Not as many as last week, to be fair, but there's there's still a lot. So over here we've got um, the Carrion Empire. This is a big new pre-order for, for this week. Um, not Skaven and Flesh Eater Courts. And then Gene Steeler Cults, they've got a little bit of screen time here with the Aberrants and the Abominant and the Biophagus and the Ridge Runner. If we just go to new and exclusive for everything and we go to pre-orders, you'll see there's 30, so there's less than last week. And we go to high to low. Straight away, if we just uh, view all and look at the... You've got a jack, Jackal Outrider Detachment, £202. That will get you full unit of jackals and the wolf quads along with the ridge runners three ridge runners that's really really nice and if um and that would be an excellent um fast moving gene stealer cult army a lot of fun um it says there you get uh yeah three atalan jackals so you get 50 models oh you get the alphas too wow that's pretty good then 202 pound gets you a whole um gene stealer cult fast moving army and there'll be a lot of customization there the alphas you can't pose her any other way, but all of the bikes and things you, you can. And obviously you can have different weapons on your ridge runners or magnetize them. Then you've got the Carrion Empire and Battle Tome Collection, £145. Holy moly, that's, that's a lot of content here. Um, you get uh, the Carrion Empire, which is a new big box set. Uh, the Battle Tome Skaven, Battle Tome Flesh Eater Quartz. Um, so you also get the core rules for Age of Sigmar. Um, really decent. I'm not a huge fan of either of the, the, these two factions. Flesh Eater Courts maybe a little bit. But if you are a big fan of Skaven, then um, I can see why you'd want to get this, especially for this uh, awesome looking fella here. <laughs> Amazing, with his little 
rat chimney thing um, and some rats leaping out of a pipe a fantastic looking model um, and then you've got Council of 13 collection um, 13 if you don't know is uh, obviously something to do with Skaven um, there's only 800 copies though but you get uh, the collector's edition endless spell Skaven which are these and the war scroll cards those and then the Skaven dice yeah you get the Skaven themed dice I love these yeah this is the endless but look at them they're so cool I love it absolutely love that <laughs> And then you've got the Carrion Empire, which is a new big box set for Age of Sigma for £95. Let's just have a little look at this. Because it'll tell you all about the uh, miniatures. So you get the Abhorrent Arc Regent, um, only available in this bo box at this set time. 20 Crypt Ghouls, 3 Crypt Horrors, uh, 3 Crypt Flayers, 1 Warlock Bombardier, only available in the, set, in the box set this time. 1 Doom Wheel, 1 Warp Lightning Cannon, 3 Storm Fiends. And then the 40 page Karen Empire book, uh, core rules booklet, token sheet, and war scroll cards, all for £95. That will that will get you going straight away um, if you like both the factions. But there we go. And then on to some Gene Silly Cult stuff. So you've got the Ridge Runner Scouts, £82.50. I don't think that saves you any money from buying just just three separate. And then this week's Gene Steel Occult pre-orders, £82.50 for the Biophagus, uh, the Aberrants and the Abominant and the Ridge Runner. Um, then the Courts of Delusion collection, so that's the limited edition with some spells and the cards for £80. And then the Skaven Essentials, uh, £77.50. Then just the Essentials, uh, it's £55. The limited edition is £50. The other battle tome for Skaven is 50 and then the Gnaw Holes are £32.50. And then we look at the uh, Achilles Ridge Runner. So let's have a little look at this because I haven't done a video on this. I think we looked at it in a preview video one time in one of the news videos. You can take a heavy mining laser, heavy mortar or missile launcher. Now the missile launcher does look pretty cool. Now if only they had these in... Astra Militarum, that would be pretty cool if you could have one of these scout kind of um, vehicles. But even with the uh, mining laser and the mortar, the mortar looks pretty good too. But I just like this, the look of the vehicle with this viewport. Definitely want to see more kind of vehicles like this in the future. Really looking forward to that. No doubt it'll probably be two sprues though. Doesn't actually say. But then you've got the oval base. Again, I don't know whether I'll put it on the oval base. I probably wouldn't, but we'll see. We'll see when we get it. Um, then you've got the Aberrants. Nothing new here. They were in the Tooth and Claw set. Um, I do like this one that's got a sign that he's just taken out of the ground. And there is customization. Look, you can have them in, uh, you know, the hammers in different places, the pixies in different places. And um, this guy's thrown a rock. And obviously these aren't thrown a rock. You can have different heads. Yeah, one, I think it's two sprues, but it could be three. Yeah, choice of power picks and hammers, 11 different heads, 32 mil bases there on. So that's the tw that's the aberrants. Um, the battle tomes for both Flesh Eater Courts and Skaven, £25 each. The Charnel Throne, that looks pretty decent. Then you've got some Clan Rats, nothing new there. The Endless Spells are new, and more Endless Spells, and then the digital editions of the Codexes. Uh, and then the Skaven dice, they're all right. They definitely uh, stand out more than previous uh, dice of, of recent. Then you've got the Biophagus. Now, really looking forward to this model because it's £15, but technically you're getting two miniatures. You're getting this detailed miniature. They are only on 25mm bases, um, not the 32mm. Um, but you are, yeah, as I say, technically getting two models here. Um, lots of detail on here. I love this kind of look. And yeah, obviously they've got the Gene Steeler Cult um, icons on there. I like how even the little Gene Steeler Familiar is taking things seriously with the uh, health and safety, wearing the eye protection. I do like that. <laughs> um, yeah, he's going to be a big buff to, I think, your aberrants, I think. Um, speaking of which, we've got, we've got the War Scroll cards for Skaven, and then the Abominant himself. Uh, £15 for this model. Again, another one of these 
uh, individual characters. He's one of the HQ choices for your Gene Stealer cults, um, so you can have a whole aberrant kind of army if you if you want. Again, another little model, just uh, holding him. He's been a bit wounded though. Um, something's gone on with his face. He has hasn't got an eye, from what I can see. Um, oh no, he has got an eye just on the side. He's just been cut up a bit, and this 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 guy's got a load of bones in his bag. Looks like it's only one sprue. Um, but yeah, I've built mine, and uh, yeah, I'll definitely be doing a review of him um, before this model's out. Put it that way. Um, warp fire thrower there for Skaven. I don't know if that's. I think that's a last chance to buy a web store exclusive. So, and then you've got the war scroll cards for flesh eater courts. Um, don't know why, but they're ten pound, and the ones for Skaven are five pound more. Interesting. Don't know whether that's a misprint, but it is what it is. And that's everything for all of the news and pre-orders for um, Forge World and Games Workshop. So a lot to get through. No doubt there's going to be quite a few more mo weeks and months of uh, releases like this. It's going to be relentless, especially with this uh, Shadow Spear coming out and then Sisters of Battle and, you know, all kinds of other stuff. There's going to be a big Chaos release as well. probably a And then you've got Adeptus Titanicus um, Grandmaster Edition. Hopefully I'll get a copy this time. Who knows? Anyway, that's all from me. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching The Emperor Protects.